Listen up, cluckheads. You're listening to Whiskey and Wine with Rooster and the Madman, where we talk about common sense, current events, the Constitution, and morals. Morals. While comparing drinks of yesteryear to drinks of today. So sit back, relax, leave us a comment. Here comes Whiskey Whiskey and and Wine. used to her just uh oh yep it is starting sorry yeah yeah there it is all right yep we're good go well anyways that woman did get her shoes back at the end of that story (laughs) did did guns give them back or were they just no i don't think he gives anything back i think it all i don't know what he does with the stuff okay but i'm sure it gets hidden somewhere (laughs) (laughs) anyways Uh, all right welcome back luckheads uh you know who you are we know what we do uh Constitution, common sense, current events, and uh, morals, morals uh, which she's not here this Lack week. of morals today, so we're going to try to make her proud and, you know, police ourselves. And yeah. uh, Who watches The Watchmen? Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like when my old first started, used to police us by, hey, uh, I probably pick up that cigarette butt. <laughs> so, if you hear me sniffling or anything over there, Rooster, I don't have the, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't, well, I guess technically I have seasonal Rona. I have the, seasonal, uh, yeah. I have the mountain cedar Rona. I'm just glad the government is allowing those things to happen again. What? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm sure there's an as... entire topic on today's show that we got. <laughs> everything is logged as COVID, that. so I'm surprised that we're allowing things like the seasonal uh, flu and stuff back in. So, which I did get my flu shot not too long ago. Well, this is this isn't the flu. This is the mountain cedar Rona. Yeah, no, it's, and it's <clears> the uh, the juniper Rona. Yeah, if you hear me clear my throat, that's because of the you know here in Texas. Uh, the weather changes every other day, and you know this whole war from seventy to so thirty was, is just killing me. I, was, I caught a great show with Vane and Vivian Vulgar, Nonconformist, Tower High, and I was feeling perfectly fine. The minute the wind kicked up, I sneezed once, and I haven't stopped sneezing since. I <laughs> mean, it's just the trigger point. I mean, it's just you know, so it turned it on, and then, you know, you officially figure yeah. Out so now, I've, now officially got a seasonal yeah. Rona. Yeah. But anyway, you know who we are, what we do. Um, so today, we're going a little bit of a different route. Well, you and I have done whiskeys and yep. whiskey and Coke before, yep. but we haven't done the pre ones, the well, pre-packaged. We did ones. rum and cokes. I don't know. Have we ever done whiskey and coke straight up? Thought we did. Now we might have. Yeah, we probably did. I don't know. Anyways, we're, we're doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, especially in today's world, because you can get stuff already pre-mixed, pre-made, stuff like yeah. that. Um, fast-paced world, man. It's fast, yeah. Super if, fast. if you're not living in the now, you're five minutes. Super fast. Ago. Super fast. The time, <laughs> the time to do what we are doing is now, yeah. and it's what we've always done is the time. We'll, we'll get, get to, to that stupid quote here in a little. Oh while. my god! All right. So anyway, <laughs> so uh, decided to go with the pre-mixed whiskey and colas, and I noticed they didn't say Coke. It's cola, and I, and I didn't know if well, it was like a because everybody a outside of the state of Texas doesn't understand that in in Texas. Everything's a Coke. But see, I just didn't know if they didn't. It's like, actually... hey man, what kind of Coke you want? Let me get a Dr Pepper. <laughs> well, I, didn't, I didn't even think about it that far. I was just saying that maybe they didn't get permission specifically from like Coca Cola or something. They probably didn't. They probably have their own. I mean, they they manufacture their own liquor. I'm sure they can make soft drinks too. Oh yeah, so. I'm sure. But, but anyway, so uh, the low end today we have the Jack Daniels whiskey and cola, um, and it's. It looks just like a Jack Daniels bottle. I mean, it's just in a can. It's a it's a great can. I mean, the old number seven, the black and white. That's iconic. You can't go wrong with that. So they just made the can look like it. Now, one of the things I want you to notice, though, on these, it's seven percent. Yeah, that's less than some of the some of the beers beers that we've had. Yeah, but in most states, uh, I think a beer is typically under six percent anyway. So. Yeah, but some this of those Oktoberfest ones that we had, they were like 11 yeah. and 12. Yeah, yeah. Clucktoberfest. <laughs> yeah, Clucktober. I'm Clucktober. sorry. They canceled the official Oktoberfest this year. So now so. the official Oktoberfest yeah, so. is Clucktoberfest. So now we own it. Yeah. <laughs> we stepped in. Pat, we Pat we filled Henning. the void. <laughs> it's copyright approved. <laughs> but, it's, I mean, it's just it's a cool-looking can. I mean, it's just the yeah, iconic Jack Daniels. But uh, 12, 12 ounces, 355 milliliters, 7, 7%. So let's uh, do the Biden sniff test here. Yeah. Oh, it sounds good though when it opens. It sounds really good when it opens. Yeah. 
That smells more like whiskey than it does <laughs> Coke. <laughs> that's say that smells a little bit more whiskey. Ooh, that smells heavy on the whiskey side. So no, but you no, remember. we're not going to pour these this week because no. they're 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 meant to be. It's it's on the go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Sea World go. friendly. It is, and they're recyclable. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, this is one of those where that you know, technically, if it was the '80s, you could just buy. If you got, you're out with the family doing a picnic yeah. or something, and you need your Jack and Coke. You know, it's on the go. You're good to go. Yeah. So I wish they made it in a pool tab. Yeah, well, that would be cool. But pool tabs, I think the the danger part has just done away with those forever. So, well, that explains a lot. I can tell you how many scars I probably have on the bottom yeah. of my feet from growing up with those pool tabs on PBRs and Strohs. <laughs> and, uh, all right, so we, what, beast. <laughs> Tell us about the one you got over there. So the Crown Royal one, the can is not as cool looking, but it's got this texture that I've never seen on a can before, where it almost feels like they were trying to mimic the velvet bags that the bottle comes in. Uh, so it, it's kind of cool. Or either that, or it's just kind of like on some of these concealed carry pistols where, you know, they put that stippling gripping on there. So, you know, you just never lose oh, it. Oh, but you if you look it, so. inside the texturing, there's the CR. Yeah, that is cool. It is cool. It's still not a standout. I mean, if this had come in the little velvet it's, bag, it's I'd, not have been, a standout. I'd have been really stoked. On uh, that I will one, give so. you that. It is not a standout. And for all you listeners, uh, those velvet bags are actually just meant to be thrown away. You don't have to keep those forever. No, you do. You, you put <laughs> stuff in them. All right, let's open crack this Crack it up. open. All right, Biden sniff test. This one smells more like a cola. Yeah, this one smells more like if you go to a bar and you order a... Whiskey and cola. That's what this that's one what smells, it smells like. like. The Jack Daniel smells like I went to a really low rent bar, ordered a whiskey and <laughs> cola, and they just put a splash of cola in my cheap whiskey. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? That's that's not normal? <laughs> no, no, it's not normal. Those are the same people. Those are kind of bars for like the people like me who get from buy the beer from the cooler, the little ice chest at the register uh, that you always make fun of. <laughs> so do you think that either one of them will be still reserve quality? No, no, I think anything is above steel reserve quality at this point in life. Uh, well, to give you an idea, the Jack Daniels was about 13. For a six-pack? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Four-pack. Four-pack, okay. And the Crown Royal was 20. For the same, for a four-pack as well? For a six-pack. Six-pack, okay. Well, it's it's so, marginally crowns, you know. A so they're higher. almost, yeah, they're almost exactly neck and neck on that one. Uh, I'm telling you right now, based on the smell, I like that. Crown. My prediction is Crown is going to be the winner of this one, but, but Crown's also but you sweeter. Never you never know. Crown never by know. itself yeah. is also sweeter. Correct, correct. And so I tend to times, like the more bourbon, yeah, uh, over that sweet whiskey. So, <laughs> well, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's get our. Yeah, Clucktober clinkage going on. Not Clucktober, but just cluckage okay, clinkage. clinkage going there, Sorry, so. I, I've got like five Benadryls pumping through my system, and I'm still like my eyes are watering here. That's interesting. Okay. It doesn't taste like it smells. No, it doesn't. It's It's really mild. There's no burn to it. And it's overly sweet. Very much overly sweet. It's almost like licorice. I was going to say it's almost like a liqueur. Yeah. It tastes almost like a liqueur. Huh. I mean, I'm not saying that's, it's bad. It's that's just, it's, not what I was expecting. It's not what I was expecting at all. So, I mean, especially with the smell, I expected it just to be straight up old number seven. Yeah. But at the 7% alcohol rate, I guess we know why that doesn't yeah, work that way. Yeah, maybe. So. Well, you know what? We, we'll, they're using, this has got to be like a, their version of Pepsi instead of a Coke, because that is just super sweet when it, it comes to being a It is very sweet, especially because the smell doesn't match it. No. This is a couple now we've had where the smell doesn't match like it. It's almost like Mr. Pibb or something. I don't know. Maybe it's Mr. Pibb extra because it's got the alcohol. Yeah, I, I don't like Mr. Pibb. <laughs> <laughs> I want that real barbecue flavored water. Oh, none of it at all. That, not that fake stuff that you throw extra on it to try and entice me over. <laughs> uh, you can keep that skull, baby. In this house, we only dip Copenhagen. All right, so let's jump in while we're uh, we still partake of the Jack Daniels uh, whiskey and cola here. Uh, uh, number topic number one uh, again oh. for episode thirty six. Yeah. So I'll tell you what. Do you want to start? Or do you want me to yeah, start? Yeah, I'll go ahead and start this. Cause you want to start this, this? this one's fun because you know, I, know, I know, I know that. Okay, well, if you start this one, I get to start the next. one. Okay, that's well. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, All I'll right. start this. one. You start this one. Cause my favorite lady's on the next one. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Timer has started. Sleepy Uncle Joe coming out. Uh, oh, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, Scotus, Scotus is a bad dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, so, <laughs> so huge, uh, uh, huge upset in in the in the administration because you know, wasn't it just a few months ago that he came out and he said, "Don't listen to the Supreme Court of the United States. Listen to me." Yeah. So early on in the president, because we've got a year now with him. Um, or a couple of days shy of a year. God, it me. feels so much longer. So they, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's in the longest presidency uh, feel ever. Uh, so he did this his COVID vaccine mandate where he said anybody with over a hundred employees, you must be vaccinated or test weekly. Um, not one court has ever cited in his favor when it comes to getting into the federal system. Uh, I think he gets like... But don't you know you're not supposed to listen to the federal courts? Yeah, and so the first time the court struck it down, he said, don't worry about it, it's going to go to a higher court. Don't listen to the courts, listen to me. So a higher federal court struck it down. That's kind of tyrannical talk, isn't it? Don't listen to the courts, listen to me. This is absolutely constitutional. We're still going to take this all the way to the Supreme Court if we have to. And now it's at the Supreme it's at the Court. Supreme, well, it's, it's out and it's gone now. Well, it they, was at the Supreme yeah, they, Court. They, they they punted that bad boy back uh, and pinned these guys back on their own goal uh, line. <laughs> but then even after that, he still comes out and he says some stuff. Yeah, I was really surprised. So so SCOTUS has spoken. It was a six to three vote, if I if I remember. Um, the majority, yes, obviously it was six. Being, it yeah, was six majority, to three. obviously yeah. being on that one. Um, people could say it was just conservative. Say whatever you want. It was a clear majority. Um, it's unconstitutional, just like all the lower courts said. It's unconstitutional. Now they did hold up. If you're a federal employee, you fall under federal mandates. Now and now with that, <clears throat> that means anybody that's getting federal money. Yeah, it'll probably loosely go back to that. But I bet you that's even get a challenge in court at some point. Uh, it, it's going to have to be because if you look at like the hospitals with the healthcare workers, yeah. if they're licensed through Medicare, and Medicaid, that's government funding. So technically, that means that they still have to. Yeah, it's kind of a roundabout way of saying you're a federal employee. But I think that'll get challenged as well. It should. Uh, but think that the, the really sad thing is, is to... the Supreme Court has ruled the highest court in the land. There is no appeals. There's nothing else. This is done. It's over. It's it, dead. Yeah. Biden lost, the Congress lost on it, and he came out and said that you need to ignore SCOTUS and you need to do what he says. Well, you know, he also said that uh, he was so upset he was going to go to bed early. Oh, well, come on, man. He's going to drink that insure and go <laughs> yeah, to bed a I little just, bit early. I just, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, so now we've got a president. Can you imagine if any other president prior to him had said, ignore the laws, ignore the interpretation of the law by the Supreme Court, do as I say. If this would have been Trump, if this would have been Obama, if this would have been Bush or Clinton, and any of those four presidents would have said that, oh yeah, there would have been an uproar. I mean, it's just, but speaking of uproar, because uh, I know that we're almost insanity. we're almost out of time on this. What's your opinion on the uh, healthcare workers? Because you know, with uh, with COVID, the Omicron going, yeah, down, and, and that one's that one's scary in its own right. Do you because, think that they're going to kind of revolt too? Uh, you know, they might. Uh, and what's scary in its own right is we're running out of hospital beds because COVID is on a rampage. But aren't the really hospitals is. like fully staffed? They should, no, that and be that's happening. that's the part that's weird is are hospitals really full or are they just absolutely inadequately staffed to handle the COVID surge? Come on, man! Surely the media would because talk we let to all those, those employees go. Who didn't no, get those shots? No, that, that didn't happen. If you just in, let these doctors and these nurses no, do their that, job. That didn't happen in May, man. Come on. You oh, know, I'm just, you know, I, this. I mean, yeah, it's, I don't, I don't, I don't you know, just it. like what we said. I mean, there's, there's nothing that's not COVID. Yeah, everything's, I mean, everything's the Rona now. So it's, every, you know, everything, just like my seasonal allergies. I got a Corona hangnail and yeah, you know, it's, it's terrible. So. But yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, the healthcare worker thing is sad because I am not a COVID doubter. COVID exists, it is tearing people up right now. Um, but the decision well, to have let go like healthcare Fauci workers that are very, that are very honest. Oh, I mean, we're going to we're gonna get to Fauci. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get to. Don't worry, that Joker's not getting off the hook on this <laughs> okay, episode. Do you, do you have him in the follow ups or something? Yeah, he's he's oh, coming okay. up. This guy, he he's never going to. I'm never going to lay up on him. Uh, I mean, but yeah, so you might not, but the everything has might. just been an absolute disaster for the fir- for the first year of this guy's presidency. It, it, nothing has worked. Oh, you know, what we're going to get. Oh, timer stop. Come on, man. But, you know, we're going to get to the yes. we're going to get to that the, during your six Supreme Court justices. They're bad dudes. <laughs> Scotus is just a bad, bad dude. It's a bad dude. Well, well there's 
to listen you know, to all. There, there's nine of They're all bad dudes. They're all, well, not those three well, you voted for. Not the right? three that were. Yeah. And that, they might not even be dudes. They might they might identify yeah. as an oak tree. I don't know. All right, you ready? To, you want to test uh, the crown, or you want to you want to go straight into number two? Well, what do you What do you think so far about this Jack? You Daniels know what? One? I'm not hating it. I'm just not impressed. I mean, it's it's the smell doesn't match the it, taste. Absolutely, this is exactly like if I had just got a bottom of the shelf whiskey and a Coke. Honestly, this to me it kind of tastes like if you had gotten like the Walmart Coke. Yeah, the and Sam's, a, and a, and a, the Sam's, not even the Sam's Choice, just the one that says cola. Yeah, just the just the just the cola, and mixed it. There's nothing impressive yeah. about it. The smell. But then again, Jack Daniels is not my favorite whiskey to begin with. Uh, it was my favorite whiskey when I was a teenager. Didn't know anything about whiskey. Well, that was up until the fact that that you and we don't we, we don't condone a, children a, drinking a, whatsoever on this show. No, we don't. Well. No? No, 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 we don't. No, no, no. We don't. Morals uh, would if Morals was here, she'd say we don't. <laughs> <laughs> so that's for you, Morals. Wait, would she yellow card me on that? She she might. Uh, or is that or that be like a like a beige card? Like I almost more got like of a ivory to tan. Okay, so I almost <laughs> got yellow carded. Yeah, I mean, like a khaki. <laughs> <laughs> like a docker's color. <laughs> it's a, it's a uh, it's a tapioca color. There you go. Something like that. All right, so let's take a sip of the crown and then we'll let's, get into the next let's do one. That. That That's weird. That doesn't taste like it smells either. That tastes like cinnamon. It's got like a like a spice of something. Like kind a cinnamon or clove spice to it. Hold on, let's see here. So I don't know what cola they're using. It's not good. It just says natural <laughs> flavors. Yeah. So that's absolutely. So now we've got that's two hundred percent unexpected. Now we've got two that are, I would say the Jack though was about fifty percent unexpected because I wasn't really expecting a whole lot. But that was the 100% crown percent. That's a hundred percent. I would have never guessed that that was gonna, that's what it was going to taste like. All right. Surprisingly though, especially because you know whenever we tried crown before, it, it was it sweet. almost feels like someone dropped a cinnamon Jolly Rancher in the bottom Kinda, of the can. But, but you notice it doesn't have the same sweet taste. No, it doesn't. It it doesn't. But uh, I'm not digging the cinnamon or the clove or whatever that or allspice or whatever that. What the, is that? I don't know. I'm not digging it. Uh, it's making my tummy a little warm. <laughs> and it's a grown man <laughs> saying tummy rubbing your your stomach uh, is a yeah, really you, really you, super uber manual. You know, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to, to come over there and rub the rooster. No, belly. no, I'm not Buddha. You don't come uh, rub my tummy. <laughs> yeah. So let's jump over into the next. Rub one. that rooster <laughs> belly. No, no, no. Who's that? Who's a good rooster? Don't rub the rooster. <laughs> <laughs> it costs extra. Uh, all right. Speaking of. Uh, Speaking of costing extra, is it going to cost more for us to bail out DJ Guns from Facebook jail again? Yeah, I don't know what that guy's problem is. He cannot stay out of Facebook jail. I I, I guess maybe the, the the food is good in in that jail or something. I or, guess. You know, I mean, you know, he likes the I don't know. The maybe he likes chocolate starfish or, and hot dog you know, flavored I, water or something. I don't know what's going on with that one. I mean, it's just you know, it's, he he likes to stay in Facebook jail, but it's okay. Because guess who's in control? Yeah. Yeah, Rooster's <laughs> taking care of it. Madman's got the access to. We're going to hook you up on the locked and loaded L- Facebook page. Literally, I was making a post that the morals <laughs> would have probably given me a red card on. And then all of a sudden, I get a notification that it, that locked and loaded had just posted. And it was the one that you made. So I was yeah. like, dang, Yeah, I beat you to it. <laughs> dang it. <laughs> can't miss a good opportunity on that one. And we can't let our buddy DJ Chain Guns go without posting. <laughs> no. Not so, at all. If you guys see the post, share it. Let's get a petition going. Let's free Shane Guns from his uh, free incarceration. Hashtag free the overlord. Yeah, free the overlord. Hashtag free the overlord. All right. So we're, we're gonna get that you know that 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 movement going. Me too. Hashtag free the overlord. We we should. I think yeah. it's it's a worthy cause. Unless they, <laughs> they, they look in the dungeon. Uh, all right. Let's move on to no, topic number two. All right. Uh, you know what? Let me. Uh, I'm gonna start this one. <laughs> I'll let you start it because I know it's. Yeah. Should we start it with our favorite theme song? Okay, sure. Okay, timer started. Where, Where in the world is Kamala Harris? Well, Rooster, t- take it away. I'm going to tell you where she's at, where she was yesterday. She was at the Today Show <laughs> yesterday <laughs> getting an interview. I, and, dude. Now, you know, this was her second private oh interview gosh. since the whole board. Yeah, Lester Holt was the first one. I can't, I'm sorry. I don't remember this guy's name. This guy, I'm going to have to look it up on the show because this guy is like my favorite interviewer now. He hit her 
and hit her hard, uh, metaphorically, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Are we sure about that? But, you know, because with the White House's current administration, you're, susp- you're supposed to submit all your questions in advance. Uh, so well, they, they already no, have an answer. Surely they're not still have. doing that. Because, it was, you know, that's that it was very presence. clear when this guy hit her with a two or three of those questions out of that interview, they weren't ready for it because the look of she was just pure shocking on her face. It was, it's the same look Saddam Hussein had. <laughs> 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 so, the, 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 you know, the, the look on her face, I could just imagine, you know, like Osama bin Laden behind the door. Oh. You know, there's a knock on the door. You know, hey, can somebody get that? And then, bam, it's still Team yeah. Six. Who is it? America! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so. But no, she had, she, you're right, though. She had a deer in the headlights yeah, look. It was, like, you could tell that, like, all cognitive abilities just got shut off. If I wasn't laughing so hard, I would have been very uncomfortable for her. Um, so she gives this interview on the Today Show with M- uh, with NBC, um, and you know, I mean, they the guy, you know, he wasn't, he did not buttercup this bad boy. He, okay, he hit now, her with the with a hard question. Now I'm going to have to stop you because Rooster, it is time for us to do what we have been doing, and that time is now. Yeah, that was her. Awkward, that time is every. That day. was her awkward quote in response to nothing the White House has done has worked in the last year is it time for you to change your stance what or you mean change your you mean, policies you mean that if something's not working you change your course yeah. of action because there are, apparently is a long list of doctors who wrote a letter or something saying you got to change what you're doing with covid it's not working uh and so that well, was because they're she, not doing it every day and that's where she gave the awkward quote of we just got to keep doing what we're doing i mean it's you know why don't you just quote joe dirt man your life's a garden dig it baby uh <laughs> I would have at least, you know, like given you some, you know, you know, respect on that one, but you, know, you give the, me some diatribe that I can't under, I'm like, I don't even know what you, you know, just if, said. If she would have just said that, you know, hey, at this point, we don't know because they came out during the presidential campaign swinging. Well, saying, they're going to fix it. Saying federally, we're going to fix this. And then last month they came out saying this is the state's yeah. problem. Not so the, he not did follow problem. up and he, and he, then, you know, it, it, like taking it past that, if she would have just been on air and said at this point, we don't know. We're having yeah. to we're having to work with the CDC and come up with a different plan. We've got to change our course of action, but I can't give you an honest answer because I don't know. You know what? That'd I would have re- nice. I would have respected that That'd answer. Been nice. But instead, so to clarify, he followed up with specifically about COVID and the failures on the COVID with the Omicron variant and the spread and everything we got going on that. Ah. Uh, so she did say there's actually been some significant changes uh, since the pandemic started, uh, and the number one is we didn't have a vaccine a year ago. But wasn't the vaccine actually started it, it in was, the last it was, quarter yeah, it was, of it was a different president. Uh, president 45? Yeah, it was a yeah, different president. Okay. But then she said that, you know, we also had a bunch of other things that we had to take. You know, like, we learned more about the science. We've learned more about how it works. Well, that's how science works. It evolves, yeah. yeah. But all of these things were also under the other president. Well, that's not true because, I mean, Fauci's yeah. been straightforward about everything. Oh, Fauci, Fauci. No, 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 no. Oh, Fauci. wait a minute. Did, we're going to get to Fauci. So I still, okay. No, we're gonna get to Fauci. I was thinking that you were going to get it to it here. No, okay. no, we're going to get to Fauci. So, but my favorite question before we run out of time on this one was he looked at her and said, Will the presidential 2024 ticket look the same? And she looked. Oh, wow. Like someone just kicked her puppy in the face. So see, I didn't, I didn't see that in the interview. Was, oh, that, at, was that at the end it of it? It was towards the end of the okay, interview. Okay, see, I he, didn't, I didn't see the end of it. Gloves came off with now, her. This, this was from NBC. This right? was NBC. So it's it's already left leaning because it's owned by Bloomberg. Yes. Yeah, so, well, I don't know. If, I mean, well, no, uh, no, no, not Bloom. Bloomberg. Uh, you're thinking of the Bloomberg. Yeah, report, I was thinking. Which is I was thinking the Bloomberg yeah, report. That's also Sorry, yeah. They've been beating them up too. But no, so. Wow. These guys, yeah, and so she just had nothing to say on it. He lost his job. She said basically, um, she's not, she's living in today. She's not worrying about what happens tomorrow. She doesn't even want to think about the next presidential election because they need to focus on their She's living in today. the moment, baby. Yeah, and then he did follow up and he said, okay, one more thing on the COVID thing. Where are you those know? masks at? And she said, they're coming. He said, next week. She's like, they're coming. He's like, no, I need a time frame. She goes, they're coming soon. That's what she said. Oh, yes. timer just, timer just, <laughs> yeah, the timer so, just went so off. So they followed up and said it's going to be about a week. But then NBC did his diligence after the interview and contacted a bunch of the mass manufacturers. And they're like, yeah, no, it's not going to be a week. <laughs> that's, 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 ah. that's, that's not realistic. Anyways, she just sucks. Uh, <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. She sucks. <laughs> No man, I, I don't want you to beat around the bush. Just no. so tell me how you all really I gotta feel because it sounds like you like you I got almost, a soft spot for no, it. No, no, I almost feel bad uh, in the fact that we could argue 
is Biden the worst president in the United States? We could argue and might be able to find somebody who is worse, like Jimmy Carter or somebody else like that, you know, from you know previous history. But or like the guy that only lasted like thirty nine days. Yeah, is there anybody that we could actually think of vice president this bad that we can think of? I don't know. Cheney I, had his point, moments. I mean, Cheney did shoot somebody with a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, but you knew what you were getting into with Cheney. You don't go hunting with that dude. <laughs> The guy owns stock in Halberd. <laughs> All right. So what do you think about this one? Uh, so. The more I sip it, the more I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let me give you another sip here. I only had like three or four. The, uh, it's kind of weird because it's almost like whatever that spice is just kind of stays in your mouth. But after, you know, like you get over the initial part of it. I'm, that, I'm, no. We're going we to do a go back. You want to do that now before the follow-ups? Now, let's do the follow-ups first. Uh, right. right now, I'm leaning towards Jack Daniels. Um, you know what? Let's just do it now. All right, let's do it. So, so crown first. Crown first, because it's already in. It's still got that weird aftertaste. It has a very distinct aftertaste. All right, now the Jack. You know what? Let's not say anything yet. Yeah. Let's do the follow-ups, and then this time... Let's do the Jack Daniels first. And then go back to it. And then go back. Right. Because I'll, like, even whenever I sip the Jack Daniels, I was still having that weird spice. They're very like, different. They're very different, and I was still having that spice aftertaste yeah. from this. All right. So let's do, all right. So, so our next the, topic is the. Oh, I got this. I got this. This is me. It's time for the big, big F you. F you. Well, I'm going to start mom. this. <laughs> I'm going to start this big F you with something that we covered extensively for four weeks in August. And that's with the whole Afghanistan, like just fall. I mean, hey, a, lot of, a lot of people Taliban, forgot. Taliban banana. <laughs> hey, Mr. <laughs> Taliban, turn over Bin Laden. So oh. anyway, a lot of people forget that, you know, that whenever the president was running, he said in an interview, videoed everything that whenever it came to Afghanistan and, and the, the the withdrawal of the troops, that it would take up to a year. Otherwise, that everything would fall. Yeah. So then fast forward to whenever it happened, he did it so fast that literally, I mean. He crapped the bed. I mean, it doesn't even count as a quickie. It yeah. happened so fast. It yeah. was just like a, it was just like an accident that, you know, yeah. the rocket went off before the pants were unzipped type of a thing. Yeah. I told you not to look at it kind of. Yeah. Thing. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even look at it. Um, but I mean, so all that happened, we still have Americans there. We ended up leaving all this equipment that the administration said, well, it's not even functional. And then we see them taxiing some of the Blackhawks. We see, yeah, them- no, those, those helicopters were flight worthy. And then yeah, we see and- people being hung from the helicopters yeah. flying over the city. Yeah. And, so, I mean, those yeah. aren't the same helicopters. Yeah. Come on. Even man. though the numbers match, those aren't yeah, the other helicopters. vehicles, even though they were yeah. big convoys and all that stuff. And, I mean, was, all yeah. the, all the weapons that were there. So, I mean, so we're sitting here and, with almost overnight, whenever the initial withdrawal started happening, it was like 63% of the country was overtaken with the Taliban. And that, oh no, those numbers aren't accurate. Well, those were our numbers, but according yeah. to the Taliban, gov- the, uh, the Afghanistan government, yes, they yeah, were. It was, yeah. So then now, fast forward to January 2022. A terrorist organization came in and took over a country. Took and it now, back. <laughs> took it what? back. What? No, they took it back. No, no. That's, that's well, fa- that's really take news. it back as much as we just gave it back. There them. we go. Yeah. But now we're going to give them $308 million. Oh, we must have signed a friendship pact now. You know what? Maybe they made him a cool little bracelet. You know, little Maybe little it's like the Wonder Twins. Activate. Like okay, well, i got to ask. How much money did they... Uh, donate to his campaign out of this $308 million because I can't for the life of me understand why anybody would give an enemy of our state $308 million. We have been at war with these people for 20 years. Now, in in all fairness, under the McCarthy protocols, the war didn't last that long. We were still in the occupational period. Yes. 20 
years these people were shooting at us. But now, under the McCarthy Protocol, you know, we were still in a, we were still in Germany for a pretty good while after. Yeah, that becomes a very different deal because we became their protectorate under that treaty. You are correct. We <laughs> became their protectors in West Germany against yeah. East Germany. It's just like we did in Japan, we became their military no. force. No. Yes. You're you're reading the that, wrong that, side no, of no, history. No, 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 not reading the wrong side of history. It's it's the right book and everything. <laughs> <laughs> No, in fact, I wrote the same chapter as you are. So yeah, no, three hundred eight million dollars to uh, to our oh, enemy. Hold on, before before we run too too far into this time, oh, yeah. I already got that off my chest. Uh, you you wanted to say something about somebody, didn't you? Oh, Fauci. Yeah. So I'll cut my time poor, short so that way you can. Mr. Poor Mr. Fauci. We'll just extend the time on this poor one. It's fine. Mr. Fauci. Poor Mr. Fauci. He, I mean, womp, womp, yeah. womp. he's only the highest paid government employee in u.s history he makes come on, more than man. the president of the united states come on man uh he's going to retire as you know, the he, highest was, he, paid he, person he was also voted ever. the sexiest man of like 2020 or something i don't think that's correct that more seems more like a north korean kind of poll <laughs> 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 i'm best at basketball <laughs> best looking i'm the tallest you know, speaking of north korea <laughs> did you see that uh uh oh crazy kim jong-un came out and said that his dad invented the burrito in 2011 oh yeah my favorite Kim Jong Un thing was the uh, where he found the majestic uh, unicorn's lair and rode the beast, yeah. or that uh, his dad Kim Jong Il was so good at golf he played eighteen holes and made eighteen. I think he said ones. the same thing about bowling. He bowled three hundred uh, perfect game yeah. first three times he ever bowled. Yeah, and then he just never like bowled that. again. Yeah. So I think there should be like a mural of Kim Jong Un, maybe uh, in Fauci's on office. a unicorn holding a bowling ball <laughs> with some golf clubs strapped to his back. <laughs> You know what? I think I think somebody needs to make a T-shirt out of that bad maybe, boy. Maybe with, maybe with Doctor Fauci with his arm around him, yeah. with like a needle so, in his arm. Back to craphead Fauci. What? Uh, <laughs> no. So yeah, yeah. So liar, liar. You know, uh, uh, did you hear about that though, man? The guy, uh, he's he's being treated uh, for a condition. Apparently, his pants caught on fire. No, and he got some burns. That's and, uh, not true. Yeah, right? yeah. Cause, yeah, no, it happened. No, that's, that's the Rona he, hemorrhoids. He was talking that's to, the Rona hemorrhoids. He was out there talking to Rand Paul. <laughs> <laughs> and Rand Paul burned him so bad. <laughs> so basically, Fauci, from the beginning, said China had nothing to do with it. He has no ties to China. No ties to China. No ties to China. It's a lie. It's a lie. Hold it's on. a lie. Hold on a second. Hold on. We're going to fast forward now. Yeah. So now. Let's check those emails. So now it looks like these emails, he has ties to China. So finally, he comes out and admits, okay. We did some research in Wuhan, but it wasn't a big deal. Okay, we fast forward it again. Yeah. So then Project Veritas is like, hey, let's investigate Fauci. Wait a second. Is this the same Project Veritas that the feds came in and raided their building? Yes, yeah, so about a month like, ago during this yeah, investigation, they, was, they uh, raided their headquarters, took laptops, cell phones, all kinds of stuff. And they're supposed everything to Everything that you would naturally do if yeah, the person Yeah, so they're going to release a whole bunch of new info on Fauci. So it's going to get really interesting on in what's going with this. But Rand Paul on that burn thing actually said, hey, man, uh, since you're the highest paid government employee and all government officials, and because you're a government leader, Leader in the, you know you you run your department, you know shouldn't you have to submit all of your financial earnings and let's see where the money's coming from too? I mean you're the richest person off the government teat, no nah, man, to because, ever exist. No, see that's not the way it works. Is if you're innocent, you want to hide all that stuff. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, timer yeah, just went yeah. off. Sorry, it's kind of like hiding all the voting <laughs> rights stuff in that NASA bill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know we we you know what we didn't have that many people like ask about that this. Week. Well, it's not going to make it to the Senate anyways, but yeah, it's, there was a. You know what? We'll, we'll yeah, we'll, we, we'll we, save that one. We, we might say that we might put that in our back. We'll pocket. save that for when it hits the Senate because Congress because, passed it. <clears throat> the, and then the other thing too is that uh, wrong drink. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm so proud of you though. That's the first time you almost broke your own rules this week. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah I'm, I'm getting I mean, better. we've we've only done this episode. 36 episodes. We've only, done, this, down. We've only done this for like almost 40 weeks. Yeah, 30, so. yeah so whatever. You know, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> come on. Come on. Rules are a bad dude. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, speaking of rules. Don't listen to the rules. And I, listen to me. And, and listen I meant, to me, Rooster. And I, meant to, I meant to throw this in with your you, Lord with and President. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for is for someone to actually start saying, um, you know, calling themselves. I'm going to throw this in with the Biden thing. So just as a quick tag on that first topic, Saki came out and was talking about how, like, the federal law overrides the state law whenever it comes to a bunch of these things. Only which, if you ignore the 10th Amendment. Which, which one, <laughs> it's a mandate. It's not a law. Yeah. And that, two, that whole 10th Amendment thing says that 
you know, Mar- it went, it went in, in the Mario in the Puppet show. Of federal and said, that, that, that's also yeah. a lie. Yeah, so plus, anyway. you know, the, the whole call out to social media to get strict on oh, yeah. banning, you know, banning banning things that go against, you know, the narrative. And well, dude, how many times, have, just because of the fact that we talk about Rona, how many times have, have, has our show been flagged? Every episode, for all you listeners to know, every episode that goes to YouTube or when I post that YouTube link onto Facebook and social media gets a COVID flag. <laughs> We get a untrusted source COVID flag kind of thing, and I promise you, there's Hold nobody up. at Facebook listening I'm to this uh, episode. I'm uh, pulling up the uh, Wikipedia. Pa- oh, yep, it's me. <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's craziness. But anyways, we so, should probably kill this yeah, topic. Let, so, so what do you think? All right, so I think we owe with the listeners a go back. So from Jack Daniels, another sip. Jack Daniels, big sip. Feel the burn to crown. Crown. Okay, so here's my opinion. Taste alone, the crown wins. Until you catch that aftertaste with all the spice. And then that absolutely kills yeah. everything. I agree. The the Jack Daniels, it doesn't taste like it smells, but what you taste stays fluid through the entire thing. Okay. I look at um, it this way. If I was sitting in a bar and I ordered a, a whiskey and a Coke, um, and it was a cheap bar, and they gave me the Jack Daniels, kind of flat Coke, heavy on a cheap whiskey, uh, I'm like, ah, kind of a cheap bar. Uh, if I'm sitting in that same bar and they handed me this crown, with this weird spice taste, I'm not ordering anymore. No. I'm done. No. I'm going to switch over to a rum and coke or a seven and seven or something you're, like that. You are like. I love my rum and cokes, man. That's I like, like my rum your go-to. Cokes. I like my rum and cokes. I'm old school. What can I say? It's a pirate's life for me. <laughs> All right there, Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, um, oh. <laughs> it's a pirate's life for me. But I, I will say this, that um, with the Jack, you get what you get. And it's not a – after you get past the smell, not tasting like it, it's it's fluid all the way so, across. The, the the crown, that weird spice and that aftertaste, especially since by, if you if you took the, you know, the price of the four and then the price of the six and divided it out, that they're almost the same. My opinion, go with the Jack. It's just a, it's just a better taste. Yeah, so – I'd order a that, second Jack and that Coke. That Crown and Royal is kind of leaving me. I would not order a second one. Prickly yeah. on the inside. I would not. I, I'm, you know, it's weird because I called it. I really expected the Crown, or I didn't call it right, but I called it that I expected Crown to be in the winter. Absolutely not. That cinnamon, clove, whatever that spice taste is. So I think that what you're saying is that you called it in the aspect of we've been surprised before. Correct. Not that you called it in the winter. So, in other words, you, you've been taking some advice from, like, the uh, the yeah. Biden administration on how to, like, spend some of those stories. So, if someone said, hey, man, you want another Jack Daniels and Cola, whiskey and Cola? Yeah. I'd probably like, yeah, yeah, all right, give me another. Yeah, hey, man, you want another Crown Royal whiskey and Cola? You know what? That's weird. That's a let really. Me get, let me get something else. You know what? That's a really weird way to say Jack Daniels and Cola. You said Crown. but that, I think you meant to say Jack. Yeah, Jack. Sorry. So, Jack and Cola and then. Crown and Cola. No, that, that's weird because you still said Crown, but I think you meant Jack. Jack. You, you keep saying it weird. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's weird. Yeah, Is sorry. it because it also left you prickly, prickly on, on the inside? So, yeah. so I am disappointed. I, I expect so more on a Crown. Uh, but you know, you know what I think they went wrong? Is if they, Crown Royal had partnered with RC Cola, Royal <laughs> Crown Cola. <laughs> Maybe get a moon pie with it. Get us like a royalty <laughs> driven... <laughs> On both sides of you know the, the aisle there, uh, we, we could have we could have had a winner on that. Or one. maybe if it would have just come in a velvet. Maybe the taste comes from the velvet bag. Maybe that's velvet we're tasting. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, maybe. They're like, you know what? We can't give you the velvet bag. We're going to crush it up, put yeah. it in the cold. I'm not going to go out and lick a velvet painting to find out or anything like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that either. Just scratch <laughs> that off, my, off my bucket list. list right there. Velvet All right. Painting at Graceland. So I think that we agree that Jack Daniels <laughs> yeah. is the winner. Jack this wins this one. All right. So uh, thanks for tuning in. You've been listening to episode 36 of Whiskey and Wine with the Rooster and the Madman. And remember, in a world, world full, full of chickens, chickens be, be a rooster. rooster. You're listening to 
to Whiskey and Wine. Thanks for tuning in to Whiskey and Wine with the Rooster and the Madman, where you can catch brand new episodes every Saturday at 4 p.m. on Deep Dallas Radio on Locked and Loaded with DJ Shane Guns. Special thanks to our sponsor, GiftedChicken.com, home to all your beard, bath, and body care needs. Veteran owner operator right here in North Texas. Remember to pick up a bottle of Overlord's Dungeon Oil. It's 100% all natural coconut oil. It leaves you prickly on the insides.